Welcome to the top 5 auto advice. Now the IAT sensor, or the intake air temperature sensor, obviously measures the temperature of the intake air. Now, it's important to do this, because air density is influenced by air temperature. The hotter the air, the less dense it's going to be, and the less molecules of air are going to be in a given space. Although in theory, an engine could run without an air intake sensor, it's still a very good idea to have one, and the engine's going to run better with it than without it. The IAT sensor works together with the MAF, MAP, or AFM to give the ECU a more complete picture of the air coming into the engine, which helps reduce emissions and improve power and efficiency. Just like almost all the other temperature sensors in a car, the IAT sensor is a thermistor, meaning that its electrical resistance is going to change in response to the changes in its temperature. And then as usual, the resistance is measured and converted into a useful signal for the ECU. The IAT sensor is often integrated into the MAF or the AFM. If it's not there, you can usually find it somewhere in the intake duct. If there's only a bit of dirt on the IAT sensor, then malfunction symptoms are going to be very mild and barely noticeable.